Hello and welcome back to the last part of the Patriots Offensive ebook that will be shown for free on YouTube. And today we'll get right into it. I'm going to talk about the gun bunch formation and I'm going to show you everything I know about the Patriots gun bunch formation in Man 21. This might be a long video if you guys have already seen uh, my Panthers gun bunch offense. This is going to be about as long. Pretty good stuff. You need a hot rod master quarterback for this because otherwise the Patriots offensive gun bunch or the Patriots offense doesn't have a great gun bunch. But with that, or with the hard run master, you're gonna have a really good time. So I want to talk about the audibles first. Pat sale halfback basis is a great run. You should keep it. Corner strike and mesh spot. Now, before getting into the place, first of all, just came out the shower, so my hair is gonna be a little bit, a little bit messy. Um, please, please, please make sure to lab this and go into practice mode and really get comfortable with the setups. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. About 50% of my viewers have not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy my content, it would help me out. And like the video if you like if you like the video, obviously. <laughs> that was weird phrasing. Anyways, let's talk about Pat Sale. This is pretty much the play that I'm going to beat main coverage out of because it's got some really unique routes now. Slot cornerback is the package on defense. Nickel, a big nickel over G. And I'll talk about maybe left the right players in there. No, I'll just stop in some uh, bad players so I don't get any pass rush. Um, Richard Sherman is not on the field. That's weird. But anyways, I'll sub in two safeties right there because that's what you'd face online. And I'll come out in cover two because that is probably the coverage or cover two man that your opponent is going to come out in. So, let's talk about some of the setups. I want to talk about some very nice routes though first. Um, the corner route from Moore is really good at beating man coverage. The route from Metcalf, not so much sadly, but that locket route that if you guys know goes outside a bit and then goes straight up the field. That does a very nice job of beating man coverage. And I want to show you this right now. Obviously against cover two uh, with two deep zones. It's not going to beat it over top. But what a lot of people do is they put zone drops on their curl flats. And then they put two curl flats out there. So that's just what I'll do. And I guess I'll just go with. What set will I go with? I'll put Metcalf on a post. I'll put Olsen on a crosser. And I'll keep Moore on this route. And I'll just put Carson on it. On an option route. If you guys don't know, this option route speed man coverage. Uh, the tight end crosser beats man coverage if you have 90 medium route running. And the deep post beats also beats man coverage. Rod, uh, I was about to say Roger Moore. If you guys know, uh, one of the great actors who played James Bond. And Tyler Lockett also beats man coverage. So I just snap the ball right here. You will see how I can lead this. Uh, you guys saw how he didn't get bumped. Richard Sherman, that's probably the best. Second best uh, cornerback uh, in men. I don't know. He just plays crazy. I lab with him all the time. Or I lab against the 49ers all the time. And he just goes absolutely crazy. That is just one thing. This streak does a very nice job. That's now. I now want to show you the corner run. I personally like to motion snap it a little bit. And right there you see how he gets open off the break. Now right there. That was a curl flat. So obviously be careful of that. I just wanted to show you that this wins on break. Another route in this. Is the post from Metcalf so one more time I'm pressing I'm shading over top I'm shading inside <sighs> yeah I'm um, right on the break he got bumped so that's obviously not that's obviously not great try that again maybe make sure that he doesn't get bumped this time but you guys who play Madden uh, online a lot you guys play weekend league uh, you know that this deep post it just wins make sure you have 90 deep mid, uh, deep route running out there I don't, yeah I don't know what that was, but anyways, 90 deep route running should work. Yeah, it's it's just not working. I don't know if DK Metcalf even has 90 deep route running, but he should. Anyways, that post wins, and very important to know just in general which routes beat main coverage. This option route from the halfback is very good, which is just triangle, triangle, and then uh, L2 for a left bumper. No trigger, left trigger. Uh, left trigger on Xbox. And this just does a very nice job of beating main coverage just by itself. The angle route is also something that I like. And it's just about seeing which zones are out there in main coverage and then just running routes that beat those, basically. A lot of people like to double Mabel or like to put curl flats on the outside. Then you run stuff that gets open across the middle. Like this angle route, for example, on Chris Carson gets open across the middle. Also, the post from Metcalf gets, gets open across the middle. Uh, you can also, I personally always like to have either a crossing route or a drag if you have a fast tight end a drag is also very nice against man coverage because it, because it gets a free release and now if i snap the ball right here you will see 
how he just get a step and Olsen isn't even that quick he's not fast but a lot of uh, safeties at linebacker are not going to be that fast neither and not going to be that great in man cover so they won't stick on the tight end necessarily that tightly so that is that is obviously some that is also something you can do now um just in general put drags put crossers put these angle routes out there put option routes out there put the deep post on the left out there just important to know for you guys the stock streak from tyler lockett beats man coverage over the top and the corner out for more also gets open. If I snap this ball right here, I just want to show you guys how we get outside of him. And more, he's not that great of a receiver in uh, Madden. So if he gets open, then good players will get open as well. So that's pretty much all for man beating man coverage out of Pat Sale. There are some very nice things that I want to show you now. And actually, for that, you'll have to come out with the bunch to the short side because that that is then going to allow you to get to get some dif different different can talk right now um some different hard routes so i'll call pat sale on defense i'll once again this time i actually come out in cover three because i be want to beat some zones now and you come out with it to the short side then you're going to put dk metcalf on a slot apprentice post route remember we have hot route master so we can do that and then we recognize the pat sale look from two years ago very difficult to defend i personally then just go with drag olsen more on a slant and the motion set that is one of my favorite plays um generally I, if i were you i would also block the halfback i didn't do it just there but that also is a possibility now one more one more time you can also put dk metcalf on a crosser that also works fine um and then backside it really is just about what you prefer uh you can go for something like this put carson on it i'll put the running back on a, on a flat route in route or more and then motion snap him to the outside right there you can hit either the flat route or the in route choose and should your opponent's user become a little bit aggressive you can then of course that is the entire idea of uh flipping and then having the post from dk metcalf you can then look to hit dk metcalf across the middle so i'll just wait a little bit now that was obviously very tight in that case in a real game voice crack in a real game i would hit the in route right there just because that's a little bit more open but all all up all up to you uh i would also experiment a little with a little bit with putting dk metcalf on a crossing route just because uh it gets a little bit deeper that's what she said but um yeah it just gets into a little bit of a better area to pass the ball into so if i snap the ball right here now you see yeah I, I guess he just played that, didn't he? In that case, I should, I, I really should be ready to just uh, throw it for a touchdown. One more time, we'll just do it. We'll do it live. Um, but the big advantage of the crossing route is, uh, <sighs> thought of sec. Uh, the big advantage of the crossing route is that it gets a little bit deeper. Like I said, it gets past the hook curls. I just shaded down just to make sure that you guys see how this works. If the user gets a little or if he plays a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage snap the ball and now there is that window where I can throw the ball into very easily DK Metcalf truck him you guys don't know big Seahawks fan just got the dub last uh, night against the Cardinals very very happy about that but yeah pretty much just come out with it flipped and then put DK Metcalf either on the post or on the cross both are fine just depends on what you want to do um, one thing that I would like to show you guys is the route from uh, DJ Moore. I um, snap, uh, motion snap to the outside, and right there, there is a window where I can throw that. That is very underrated. A lot, a lot of people don't know about this window. You guys should really attack this part of the field because it is just so weird. What you can do if you want to get, if you want to get a little bit more creative, you can put cars on a curl. What that'll do, it'll attract a little bit a little bit attention from the uh, from your opponent's user and that'll just kind of open that throw up a little bit more one thing one very last thing um come out uh put metcalf on a drag and then just snap the ball this is a straight up cover three beater um tyler lockett is not going to get bumped he has a nice nice outside angle now tom brady has a noodle arm because he's pretty old at this at this point in time so that was not a one play touchdown, but all you have to do is just max protect and that's and put DK Metcalf on the drag, just 
to have a check down. But then just try to roll outside of the pocket if you can. And right there, obviously, that's a straight up laser. Good job, Brady. Doing something for once. Ah, no, I can't lie. Uh, ever since he switched to the box, I'm a big fan of him. Because I I hated how he was with the Patriots. And he was just winning everything. Now I gotta say, he's not winning everything. He's a nice guy. But yeah, that's pretty much all for pets here. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep on rocking. Next play is going to be, if I remember correctly, Pat's words. Pat's words. This here is not great. It's, I don't know, it's not great. Uh, motion snapping doesn't work. It used to work at the beginning of the year. It doesn't work anymore. Didn't want to snap this ball right there. Uh, just quick throwing it. That is one of the very nice things about this play, though. It is that it can be quick thrown pretty easily. So if I let him set right here, I have a quick read. If my opponent wants to blitz me, I have a lot of things that I can attack. I can throw the wheel rod from the tight from the tight end. I can throw the cross. I can throw to the halfback. A lot of different uh, different stuff. Now my setup for this is going to be post locket, put Moore on a flat, and put Carson on a ghost. Then I personally like to restreak DK Metcalf. If you have the time, put him on a streak. If not, yeah, whatever. Now I'm going to motion uh, motion snap Moore to the outside, and right there, there's this pocket where I can throw the ball. That is our first read. Can we throw it right there? If we can, we obviously take it. Because that's, that's some very nice yards. Now, second read. Let's pretend, okay, X is not there. In reality, it was there. We just didn't throw it. Then we have the post route. The post route is not going to get over top of everything. Some things are going to cover it. If, if uh, the post route gets covered, I don't know why I just looked at the camera that way. Uh, post route gets covered, let's just pretend. We'll check it down, Chris Carson, truck somebody, nah. um, and get a couple of yards that way. So that's why I like po uh, verticals. It's not as great as it once was. When we were able to motion snap it, it was pretty glitchy. But still, I really like this window right there, Again, especially against the cover three. I haven't mentioned it yet. This is better against the cover three, against the cover two. I already uh, mentioned this uh, in the video I did on the Panthers gun bunch. Against the cover two, motion DJ Moore to the outside. Now this wheel rod gets open along the sidelines if you, as, along the sideline if you give it enough time. So as soon as it gets over the top of the cloud flat, you have to throw it. You have to be pretty quick on that because it's a very tight window. So be careful with that. Really go into practice mode. Really lap that. Make sure you have the timing down. But it is there, so it's just... It's just something nice that you probably should keep in your back pocket. One thing, obviously, is always good. Put Carson on this uh, this flat route just to have a quick read should you see it. And should you only need a couple of yards, but you think that your opponent is going to run cover two, you can run this setup right here. Just have the Carson, just have Carson on that uh, flat route just in case. And then, okay. Uh, well, I'll just take the I'll just take it with Tarson, take it and uh, get a few yards up the field. That is one thing you should definitely be ready for. Well, that's pretty much all for Pat's words. I'm really trying to fly through this right now. Not so many cuts. I just want to keep this very nice and simple. The written down version of all of this will be available on my pay hip, uh, which is where I will re I'll release the rest of this ebook that I haven't shown yet on YouTube. Uh, for a little bit of a price, but this written down version is going to be completely free. Just so you guys know what you're buying uh, when you want to. When you're thinking about getting one of my game plans now. Punch Trail. Punch Trail is very nice for for two reasons. Uh, because of this uh, angle route and just because there's a very nice corner route in it that we can just manufacture. But if you guys, even if you guys don't want to run ro Hot Rod Master, there you have a corner route. So it's pretty nice. Um, my setup for this is just Metcalf on a post, block the halfback because we want more protection. And then I personally like to re... Uh, Re corner out. I like to put Taka, lock it, Taylor Lockett on a corner out. I can't speak right now. I really can't. But this is the setup. The read is either the drag or the angle out, whichever one you prefer. The underneath stuff is not as great against cover two as it is against cover three. The great stuff against cover two out of this is the post route. So I want to snap this ball right here and show you uh, how the post route gets open because the mid read gets a little bit. Uh, Gets a little bit distracted by the corner out, so that's gonna open up the post. Very, very nice stuff. Very simple. Another very simple th uh, read is to have the same setup but motion more across. Now, if you motion snap this, I'm gonna snap the ball right here. 
Now you'll see how this corner route gets open behind it. It's You have to be very precise with the timing. Also, sometimes this will be covered by a zone drop or another route. But against cover 2, that is also an option. I want to show you this now against cover 3. Uh, because I feel like I should also show this to you against cover 3. Um, that is a very smart, that is very good reasoning right there. Um, like I said, underneath the drag and angle rod do a very nice job of just getting open against the cover three. And if I got get time, the post is a touchdown. I want to show this to you at least once. If it doesn't work this time, I'll just say, believe me, it beats cover three for one play touchdown. Because I don't want to waste time just get, getting shedded every time. So I'll just try to get the protection. Very nice. And right there, you see how we have that window open. We just really have to be good on the timing. That's the that's the most important thing. Just get comfortable with it. I'll just snap. That's cover two. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, but this is a very nice play. It's very simple. It's not going to be something that your opponent is going to have too much trouble stopping because a lot of these plays can be stopped. It's not the most powerful scheme necessarily, but it is really unique. Some of the plays, and you can really catch your opponent off guard, and that's why I like it. Pascal flat. Let's just keep going. Um, one very nice thing about this is that we have the corner out and if we smart route it This is only really good if you are somewhere be between first and eight second and twelve somewhere around there first and ten of course obviously works um, And then we just wanna we wanna smart route Tyler Lockett We wanna streak more and then we wanna snap the ball Then we wanna snap the ball right there. They run into each other, but we have that window for a cover three beater very simple very very easy stuff otherwise I don't know if I like that play too much just because uh, the corner out is not that great this year. It still gets behind, but the break on it is sometimes very slow, so it's easy for your user to catch up to it. That is, excuse me, that is one of the downsides of this play. But one very interesting route is this uh, com uh this comeback, no, this curl route on more. If I want to post Tyler Lockett and I want to drag Metcalf, I've seen this in a couple of live streams and it's really creative. Now I want to motion snap more to the outside. I can throw it to the tight end. I can throw it to the drag or I can throw it to more. This is a really creative route combo and it's very underrated in my opinion. Very, very underrated. One more time. I'll show this to you. Just post and drag and also backside you will. Tight end right there, drag right there. Backside, you will get that post open against the cover three. This is pretty much uh, strictly against the cover three. Cover two, it's not the greatest. Um, but yeah, if you if you know what your coverage your opponent is, uh, and it doesn't matter that it's only good against one coverage. Right there, very very nice. Just take it up the field for a couple of yards. I really like this route because it is very unique and it gets in a soft spot that is not attacked by pretty much any other route besides that. Like, when will he ever attack? this exact spot between zones like come on your opponent is not gonna be ready for it you can hit him for a couple of yards here and there just take it be wise about it let's just keep going let's just keep going please uh, also don't forget to run halfback base in there a couple of times because halfback base is actually pretty good it's actually one of the tougher runs to defend this year just because it is very difficult to shoot and that's pretty much the only uh, defense people know out there is to shoot and Try shooting half back base. It's pretty difficult. It's not impossible, but it's pretty difficult. I want to now talk about drive wheel. I think that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, sorry, my bad. Um, you'll have to live with it. Um, only put a tire locker on drag and put more on a flat. If you can, smart route uh, DK Metcalf once again in that same area. First and eight, second and 12, first and 10, somewhere around there. And then this works very nice. Uh, nicely. Now snap the ball right there. Throw it to the tight end with a low pass. Very similar uh, part of the field we're attacking as with Pat's words. One more time. Snap this ball. Also, we can of course look to the drag right there. Very, very nice stuff. And you guys that watch the P Panthers got much offense. Um, the drag and C route combination is very, very nice. Um, now, if we want to wait a little bit longer, we will also have that to throw to very good stuff something to always look at look out for is, is that half back route and now i just want to show you that even if it's not smart route i haven't smart route at dk metcalf yet i can still throw this against a lot of cover threes so right there boom window gets open very nice to throw it's more comfortable if it's not a curl flat or a cloud flat out there but you can throw it just be careful with it once again get in the lab and get the timing down in the real game 
as soon as I see him dropping back or that curl flat dropping back, I'm taking the drag and getting 10 yards because of how crazy racks are this year. I don't necessarily know if they're crazy. They're just good. That's just that's just outright good. Now, that's pretty much the only setup I have for this play. I want to show you guys one one thing or one extra thing about pad sale. I forgot to mention it. That is actually it is actually a really unique cover three beater. And just because of how the um the route from Tyler Lockett is angled, it is pretty nice. It's it's pretty glitchy. All you want to do is you want to motion put a max max protect, put more on a flat and motion to the outside, and then I just drag DK Metcalf backside just to have a check down. And now you will see how right there, out of range, yeah. Tell me something I don't know, Noodle Arm Brady. Um, one more time, I'll just try it. But you guys see how, how just interesting the deep throw on the right side plays this. Um, he's already a step late right there. I can throw it right there, or I can wait for him to completely stop. And now you obviously see it's not a one play touchdown because Tom Brady is not doesn't have the arm anymore. Or I don't know if he ever had it, but obviously at this age he's pretty slow with the throw. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nice cover three beat also talking about uh, slow with the throw. If it rhymes, it must be true. I don't know why I just said that. Anyways, uh, really good cover three beater, really unique. Your opponent is not going to be ready for it. And this way, I don't think it will work. Actually, it did. <laughs> wow. Okay, this this formation is better than I thought. Really, really good play. Uh, pad sale, just to finish it up. That is one thing you should definitely know. Uh, that is one thing that I like very much about it. I don't know why I'm getting into this kind of sinister voice. 518 hook, it's not amazing. It's um, I have to say it's not amazing. I don't know if it's my favorite play out of this. It, it, one thing you can do is just streak and put Lockett on hitch and then just wait. I mean, right there you can hit that, pretty simple. But you are only looking for the C route from the outside bunch receiver or from the for the hitch. Tight end flat is also okay. Meh. It's meh. Just in general, I think that's a good way to categorize this play. It's meh. But if you can get the time and if you can smart route it, maybe he gets in a very nice area. Once again, smart route, like I said before, it it works best if you're somewhere first and eight, first and eight, very unlikely, first and ten, second and eight, third and twelve, somewhere around there. Then it's perfect. But otherwise, I don't know if you like that play. My setup is this. Is my setup. There's not much you can do. These C routes, they're pretty much only great when they come from the. Um, they're pretty much only great when they come from this solo wide receiver out of bunch. We have that in the Panthers offense, um, but not in this. So unfortunately, meh. Like I said, it's very meh. Let's just keep going. Gun bunch, uh, gun bunch, corner strike. Corner strike, very nice. Uh, very similar corner out to the one out of um, Crawford. I want to show you this against cover two, actually. Make sure it doesn't come down on me. Um, this is my setup, deep in, and wheel. Strict out of locket, deep in Metcalf, wheel Carson. Um, let's just watch this corner out work. Very nice, very beautiful against uh, Kari 2. I don't know how I just didn't animate right there, but that's cool. Cover 2. Now, let's just pretend we expect that not to be open. Right there, we can hit the wheel route, very nice, get a couple of yards. And should our opponent play this... <laughs> Play this a little bit more aggressively. Then, uh, we'll. I'm just playing this against hard flats right now. Obviously, I would look to hit the corner route, but then look to hit the in route. Very, very nice read. Definitely should be ready for that. Um, backside, this is very nice, obviously, because it's just a very simple read. Either take the wheel route or look to hit uh, the in route. And obviously, the tight end flats, they're really powerful air truck up the field if you have a tight end that's heavier than 247 pounds we'll get a glitchy no no that's not how you pronounce it a glitchy um people who don't know that will think i'm an idiot so i shouldn't do that uh you get a glitchy animation up the field that kind of gives you a speed burst so you should definitely take advantage of it so right there maybe greg Olson is not heavy enough but if you have a heavy tight end there you go nice tip for you um, otherwise, the same cover three beater uh, with the smart route, a corner route works as uh, the one 
I was shown in Pascal Flat. It's just the same player, so I'm not really feeling like showing it to you. Um, again, match spot. Uh, a very simple route com combination of this is just to attack uh, both, to attack cover three with two wheels, like uh, more on a flat route, Metcalf on an out route, and lock it on a hitch just to have a check down. I can hit the tight end or I can hit the running back wheel. It's pretty much the same deal as. The Titan wheel is pretty much the same deal as in the verticals and in the drive uh, drive wheel. I think that's what it's called. Right there. Yeah. Just to show you it's open. Sometimes just don't animate. I don't know. That's just something that's annoying a little bit. But one more time. We'll go for it. I just want to show you that this works. Right there. Get it open in a very nice window. This is also one of my favorite plays, I have to say. Especially uh, out of the Panthers ebook, or out of the Panthers playbook, this is pretty much the thing that I run most often at the goal line. It's, it really is that good. Um, two wheel, two wheel rods at the goal line, obviously very nice. Just make sure to not. Oh God. Not gonna lie, that has never happened to me. That was that has never happened to me. I scored maybe 20 touchdowns off of this play alone in this specific spot, and. Of course it happens during a video video but right there nice window that actually took very long to get open usually i throw that way earlier so one more time i'll, sh I'll show it to you guys because i really want to emphasize that this wheel route is very very good so right there <laughs> again 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 anyways um should that happen don't throw it please it happened to me twice now so i feel like it might be kind of just randomness i haven't seen this a lot so you guys shouldn't be afraid of it uh this uh with a low pass is very nice very important i haven't said this yet low pass it i want to really emphasize this low pass it because otherwise you're you're not gonna have a chance to complete it even if you fit the ball in you're not gonna be able to complete it okay yeah you have to motion snap it this just looks bad i want to throw it one more time i want to I want this to work so bad. I want, to, I want this to work so bad. You guys don't know how bad I want this to work. <sighs> Thank God. If I, hadn't got, if I hadn't gotten it there, then I probably would have said. Or you guys would have probably not believed me. But right there, you see that it works. Um, There's not much more. <laughs> there's not much more to this formation. Obviously, you can get really creative and do some. I'll just come in and pat sail right here. And you can get, get, get some crazy ass shit going. Like crossing route and then flip. And then put it put the tight end on the corner route, put tight lock in on the crossing route, uh, put the half pick on the angle route, put a drag out there. You can get really creative if you have if you have hot rod master. I'm not gonna dive into all that because that would just take way too much time. And a lot of this is just you recognizing what your opponent is doing. Just always be on the lookout. Look what uh he's doing. I'll put the controller down. Just always be on the lookout, look what your opponent is doing. And just try to figure out where you can attack them. Most notably against with man coverage, it's important to know which route speed man coverage. I said, I said which uh, beat at the we. I said which route speed man coverage at the beginning of the video. So rewind to that and just figure out some nice plays uh, that really space well. You don't want to have two routes going to the same spot of the field, and you want to have as many man man beating routes out there. That's all there is for this uh, Patriots. I got a bunch of information. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. Like I said, the written down version will be down uh, below. The link to the page will be there. It'll be totally for free. If you guys like the stuff that I'm doing with this, and if you guys enjoy reading it, uh, then please uh, be ready for me to drop the entire Patriots offense and some individual formations if you just want some formations. Buy that over on my pay hip. It'll be with some... Uh, obviously with the written breakdown but also with some videos of me showing you guys how to run it just like this just maybe a little bit more in depth and a little bit more place than that because i don't know i'm only recording for 30 minutes right now there's some more stuff there's some way more stuff in the other formations that'll break down over on pay so if you guys want to really get a deep dive this is the address you should head to but if you enjoyed this video let me know by hitting the like button let me know in the comments if you need anything subscribe to the channel I'm out. I just did this in one sitting and I haven't done a video like this in forever. So I'm tired right now. See you in the next video. Goodbye.